Okay, hi everyone. So, when we last left off, we uh, cleared the water temple and completed the friend group. Where's Rishu? Yeah, Rishu's around here somewhere. So, oh, there she is. So right now I'm trying to figure out this one treasure that Sidon told me about. So I'm going to work on this for just a little bit more, and if I can't, you know, figure it out, then I will at least, uh, I will move on to the real goal for today, which is filling in the rest of the map, which means uh, accessing the last three towers. And I'm hoping that the, one of these towers will help me figure out what's going on with the Lost Woods. So this one up here. And the Gerudo Highlands. Oh, four. I forgot about uh, the southeast. All right, so yeah, let's just uh, check on here. So let's, what was the... Uh, uh, hidden treasure. Oh, that was something else. Secret treasure under the Great Fish. The Great Fish, the Eternal Guardian, a secret treasure awaits just beneath the stony form of its statue. Below the long bridge that reaches for the statue, leave your fears behind. Pass beneath two waterfalls to find your prize. So I'm going to try going back down to the surface one more time. Nope. Leave my fears behind. Leads to the statue. I'm still a little confused as to what all this means. There's something under here. Oh. Oh, something's going on here. Here, uh, you know about where are you? You, neither of you have probably wanted. You know, well. Here you go. Nope. Lots of luminous stones. See, these are not waterfalls. Ooh, I know what to do here. Easily distracted the video game. Yeah, yeah ha, ha Okay, so we've got a bunch of like updrafts here. Kind of interesting. Is that a horse? What's that horse up to? Be a Korok, but I'm not gonna bother bother with that. Hello. Oh, plushies! I have a plushie. Was this not the way to Hateno Village? Can't get lost now. After spending all that time with the Gerudo doll maker, learning how to make sand seal plushies, I refuse to give up on my dream of handing these out to school kids. I can't wait to see their faces light up when I give them these stuffed toys. I hope I can remember not to glare at them. Ah. I know, I should practice for my teeth so I can hand out toys with a smile. Ah. Good evening, children. I'm the Sand Seal Lady. Not much pizzazz to it. How about... Ah. Evening, kids. It's nice to seal ya. Everyone's sealing good? Ah. Oof. Fake it till you make it, I guess. It'll be worth it to see those kids beaming with joy. Ah. Yeah! Oh no. 
Shit. Huh? You startled me. Give a gal some warning next time. <laughs> uh, my toys. They're waterproof, so they should be okay, but still. I worked hard to make a ten of them. And now this. How am I supposed to gather these all up by myself? Huh? Let me help. Thank you. If you get all ten of them for me, I'll pay you. If you're serious about helping, I want to see them all in that cart at the end. Gotta be careful loading the toys. They tend to fall out if they're not all the way in. Oh. I want to get moving, so make this quick. I'll keep trying. Uh, hold on. Now, you're not thinking of pocketing any of my seals, I hope. These are handmade for children. Kind of your fault, so... 20 to... Okay, that's fair. Get to it. Nice and gentle. So hop to it. It is timed. One, two, three, four, uh, five, six. Are there more down there? I really like the song. This is cute. How am I supposed to get these up? Oh, there are the rest of them. Okay, definitely not happening this time. At least I've got like a better idea of how this works. I know the rest of them are over here. Yeah, the rest of them are over here. Hi. I have places to be. Oh. Leave me alone. Okay, let's try this again. Feeling good? Now that that weirdo's not interrupting me, I can start fresh. I'll practice mine until my cheeks hurt. Aww. What you doing? <laughs> oh, wait. I'll do it. Oh, 
All right. So this time I'm going to make a bridge. Actually, they kind of give you a. Oh, I see. Let's attach all of these together. Wait a second. I have a horrible idea. Which is... To do this... That was fast. You can save constructs. Here's your pay, deposit is included. Nice! Okay. So if I go to uh, auto build, go to my history, and uh huh, uh huh. Set this as favorite. Do this again. <laughs> I think I might be able to cheese this. Mm. I think this idea might need some work. Yeah. This is not going as easily as I thought it would. worth a shot. Alright, so we're definitely not getting that uh, treasure set on talks about, so let's... Oh, there is another one over here.
Yeah, it's fine. All right. Oh. Fair enough. Okay, enough of that. I'm feeling good. And I'm feeling good. All right. Where is the tower here, though? I really want to get this la these last few towers, so I'm just going to focus in hard on that. Okay, next, next. So I'm only be going to be playing for a couple more hours. I have a D&D &D thing later tonight. So I'm going to try to like really buckle down and get these. So I want to look uh, east. Southeast. Oh, is it you? Or no, is that this Lanero Tower? Right? Yeah, I already got that. Some camps, there's a tree again. Tree again. The baby tree again. It's a stable. Oh. See, okay, oh yeah, this is dealing this is dealing peaks. Dealing peaks stable. There's Hateno and there's Kakariko. Um, that's Luralin. Maybe... Maybe it's closer to Luralin? I don't even think I can see it from here. Only got half with your last stream. Um, did you see me clear the temple? Because I did do that. And then afterwards, I just did a little, like a little bit of side questing in Zora's domain. But I, I made a new friend, a new ghosty friend, and the boss was kind of weird. I think while I'm here, I might as well give um, hand over this rice and wood. Where is that gonna go? There's Bolson. We have the split two. Honestly, yeah. Because, oh. like, it's part in, like, Octarian and part, uh, I want to say Shiver in Splatoon 3. Mohawk. I like the hustle. Do I not have 15 logs? Wait a second. When he says logs, he doesn't mean bundles of wood. He means I need to, like, transport logs over here in a cart. Oh. Oh. But wood, and that's no good. Okay, so that makes it a little bit more of a challenge. Good to know. Good. 
So how's it going, Gomez? I think I mentioned earlier. Um, I'm not sure if you were here for it, but um, this is gonna be a little. This is gonna be another shorter stream. I have uh, some stuff going on tonight, but I do want to try and get some stuff taken care of. What's all of that? What are you? You're just a rock. Yeah, the problem is I have no idea where... Yeah, I did. Yeah, okay. So you're here, you were here for that. No idea where the tower is. Um... Here. Oh, that's a tech lab. Do they have a way to launch? Well, you know what? Here. If I go up to Mount Lanero, maybe I'll have a high enough vantage point to put a pin down. Like, just be able to see the tower and put a pin down. Ooh, it's cold. Okay, so it would be southwest of where I am. Can I see it from here? That's Hyrule Castle. In it? Yeah. I see all the way to Hyrule Castle, so if I There's Kakariko Village, there's the the Ring Ruins. Is it you? It is you. Okay. So I'm going to put this as a star pen. That's like right in the middle of that area. I wonder if I can make it all the way over there. Actually, I am going to just make this pin so I can kind of see where it's going. In. It is all the way over there. Not sure how far I'm going to be able to make it. I'm tr attempting to cover a lot of distance. Maybe should have made some stamina potions. I don't happen to have any. No, I, no, I don't. Actually, oh no, I, I won't be able to reach that dragon. Because the dragon would give me a uh, boost because they create updrafts. Yeah, this is not going to happen. Okay, where am I? I haven't even reached the edge of this region. Yeah, okay. Oh, my antenna. Oh, yeah, Hateno Village. Okay, well, I've marked it anyway. I'm gonna try my luck with uh, going up here. In fact, 
Yeah, I think going up all the way up to the top of Death Mountain might be give me a good vantage point for the woods. But yeah, my D and D thing is not a full session; it's just a one on one. Oh, with my DM. So I was taking a drink of some soda there. So could potentially be getting into some uh, backstory stuff that makes me a little nervous. You know how it is. Maybe. Okay, so due west of here. Yeah. Ah, uh, must be you. Oh, and that looks like another uh, geoglyph. Yep, that's absolutely it. I mean, can I even see all the way over to here? No, there's clouds, so probably not. Where's the Elven Tower? Elven Tower's over here. Let's try to get, get up a little higher. Alright. So there's that. I... actually wonder if I can maybe, maybe build myself some kind of flying machine to get over there. Um, oh, wait! I absolutely can make a flying machine. Boom, boom, and then... Boom. Now, I'm continuing to try and iterate on my goblin glider design. And I found some tips that I think might be kind of helpful to me. <laughs> Namely, that it should be front to back. And try to keep these at a bit of an angle. So if I do this. Attach. Okay. Hmm. Oh, right, yes. Okay, no, that's not it. It's gonna be lined up a little better than that. Okay. Now I'm going to use this and save this, I think. Oh, great. Fine. Now I can delete this. And now, let's see if this works a little better. Um, so far, no. I am stuck. I'm immediately stuck. All right, well, we tried. Oh, I see. I think I've got a bunch of charges. So let's keep things charged here. I probably should have thrown a battery onto there. All right. We.
Okay. This is definitely giving me a big head start. Not sure if I'm a fan of this particular color of green I'm working with here. I think from here, let's go here and glide the rest of the way. I can probably make it from here. Are those cubes labyrinths? Maybe. Hmm. Well, at any rate, we're getting pretty darn close, I think. Are we? Eh, not really. Probably should have... Well, here, let's land here and maybe build another one of those guys. Maybe stick a... Stick a battery on it this time. This time I can get this. Oh, that is very... Alright, that should be a little better. We got ourselves another uh, geoglyph here. Nice and easy. The shrine. Here, maybe let's check out this geoglyph first. Oh, it's the sword. It's a master sword. Okay. That seems like it could be a really cool cutscene. <laughs> Am I still in Elden? No, I'm not. I'm now in the uh, Lost Woods. Alright, but yeah, I gotta find the pool. So I now know that the pool doesn't actually, is not actually visible until you're close to it. Which kind of requires you to explore the whole thing. But this one's really skinny. It's just, just, just a sword. So it shouldn't be too hard to find. That looks like maybe a Korok. Yep. As far as I can tell, there's no easy way to discern from a distance where the pool is going to be. Other than maybe it has to be on flat ground. Oh, I completely used up my stamina there. My bad. Yeah, so it's probably going to be up here. Because I think flat ground is definitely the key. Or maybe not. Up here, maybe? Oh, yeah, definitely there. Okay. Alright, new cutscene.
New memory. Managed to restrain him somehow. But Link, I am not sure you'll be able to stop him. Oh, well, I wonder if this will give me a clue about the Master Sword. Got the recall effect. Master Sword. Huh? So I'm guess, so guessing they're gonna like repair it and it'll be waiting for me in the present. The Master Sword. Bye! Through time to find me and recover your strength. Aw, Fi is talking. <gasps> Zelda. What was that, I the sister? There is a reason you were sent to us. It has to mean something. I know why I am here. This feels like it could be the last of the cutscenes. Something only I can do. We will finally stop him. To become an immortal dragon is to lose oneself. Huh? Light dragon? I'll be forever changed. Oh, what? Wait. To become an immortal dragon? Did one of these bitches become the light dragon that I only just now noticed? Like Zelda or maybe like the sister Zonai? And that doesn't really help me with knowing where the Master Sword is. Oh! Oof. King's duty. And then the ma a master sword in time saves nine. So this must be the battle itself. And this must be like a real big clue. We have a bunch more stuff. Oh. Oh, these geoglyph cutscenes are really good. Um, oh wait, I want to. Mark this real quick. Um, just so I know where it is. Edit, make that that's not my shrine mark. Okay. Oh, is this the place that used to be like covered in darkness? 
A Master Sword in Time sequel to a hat in time. A floppy green hat in time. Yeah, I think this is a... Or was the Dark Forest. Thyphlo Thif Ruins. It ain't working. Oh. Bill Sun. Mm. Maintenance is proving tricky. Oh. Terminal starts with the sky tower isn't working. Nothing looks oh. broken. Maybe the tower itself is broken. I guess I'm gonna have to go up through these. Some lion. Oh ho 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 ho! All right. This is actually something I kind of want to try with one of these. I'll start by doing this. Oh, okay, that totally took one hit. I'm thinking maybe this is your problem. Yeah. I want to see if I can attach rockets to that thing and send it off. But I don't think I can reach any of that from here. No. I don't really know how to carry stuff with me. And I can't exactly lift stuff up while I'm on it. Hmm. I'm just going to try this. We going. Um we we gone. <laughs> we gone. Okay, so maybe not my best idea ever. There's gotta be something I can do to salvage this. Huh. Okay, no, not that. All right. 
So, but we do know that rockets can work. Wait, can I just stand on top of the tower and... Oh, I might be able to just make this work. Oh, yeah, that's way easier. Okay. All right, easy peasy. Rockets are fun, is what I'm gathering. That's the important part of this. Oh yeah, there's something back the top. Well, I'm gonna hurry. Everything seems to be working properly, so I'll head up. And with that, I'm off. All right, another tower. All right, gotta hit this. Should we do that from here? Hi, buddy boy. Seymour is here. Hi. Oh, who's a good boy? Mwah. All right, so this is an important map because it's going to let me know something that's going on around Lost Woods. Map up to, oh, so maybe I need to do get into the woods from the sky. Oh, and there's the labyrinth. Yeah, let's go up to this little thing. Okay, so. Yeah, this looks significant up here. That looks like maybe it's some stuff. Okay. Well, while I'm up here, actually here's... Oh, is that Hyrule? Castle? No. Oh no, it is. It abso that's absolutely Hyrule Castle. Okay, so yeah, there's the forest. You two behave. Um, oh, another geoglyph. Mark that with a star. Alright, and where's the Northern Hebrew Tower? There's the Labyrinth. So there's, yeah, this, and th this would be the Great Plateau, wouldn't it? Or the Great Plateau is somewhere around here. Is it? Yeah. I actually am having trouble remembering exactly where the Great Plateau is. No, this is Highlands. Sorry, I'm, I'm being dumb. Wait. So where the hell was the Great Plateau? I'm completely mind farting here. This whole place looks seems different. Okay, so I just need to keep an eye out for another tower near. It should be easy to see because it's night and they have spotlights on them.
What are you? That's a lake. Oh. Hi, hello, who are you? That's... Oh, that's the... this tower. Wait. Too far south. Huh. So maybe I just can't see it from here. Because like maybe it's behind something. All right. Well, if I can figure out how to get into the forest, that would be something at least. Anyways, I don't want the name of this uh, episode to be a bit of a lie, you know. Okay, this is one of the, one of those spots. We've got, looks like a shrine quest, a dispensary. Uh, right. I want these. Oh, it's like grabbing some more. Ooh, steering sticks! And a light! Nice. A homing cart. A zone device that automatically heads for monsters. Oh, I bet you could use that to make, like, automata. A shock emitter! Yep, see, there it is. I knew it was going to be a thing. All right. Cool. Now that I have that, I can... I know what's in there. Mayam Shrine. Seek the crystal connected to the beam offer the shrine. So can I warp there? Okay, yeah, I can warp here. Oh, it's by the, um... Yeah, we've got ourselves a guardian there. Or, not guardian. Flux construct. Okay, where is it that I want to go? This is where the flux contract is. This, I wouldn't be surprised if this had a clue to the forest. Let's scare the shit out of those birds. So there I've already been. Huh? Want to be facing. Yeah, do do south is good. We. Oh, some more of these things. All right. got that. I have an awful rotten ideal idea about what to do with this man.
Where's the core? Oh, come on! Let me have it! No, I want to attach. Mm. Can bring this a little closer. Ow. Okay. No, every time I get close to it. Well, it does not want to be doing that. No, not that one. Did it work? No. So can I not fuse stuff to that? Okay, yeah, it's in the center. Oh, it's moving faster. Wow. I really want to see if this works. Oh, it unattaches itself. Oh, so even if I did manage to attach it, it would just undo it immediately. Ah, fine. Uh, not that it really even mattered. It was just a, a number one.
Okay, so I'm certain that what it really wants me to do. These rockets. Let's launch this thing upward so I can reach that. Which, that's fine. I can do that. I'm just actually not entirely sure how I'm going to do this. What if I did it like... Oh, we've got a bunch. Okay, 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 okay. So we could potentially... No. Okay, that's already attached. I want to go this way. And then... Say if I want to take the rest of these with me for insurance. Just barely made that. All right, that was actually really lucky. Okay, um, I really don't want to. Uh... Hit any of the rest of these. Um, you know what? Sure. Attach those. We're going to attach these and get them kind of out of my way. And then... Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Well, okay, a little more centered. All right, and take this off. I think we should be good now. Yeah, we're on the island. Onion. Um, and let's just kind of carefully do this. All right, we're golden. We are golden. Now, is this going to be a blessing shrine? Because if so, I'm taking it. If not, then I'm walking on by. Now, I have so many shrines that I have, like, I have the warps to, but I haven't gone through. I could probably just like spend a whole afternoon just kind of collecting up the shrines. This looks, it looks like it's me. Yeah, it's, this is a blessing shrine. Plus, I'll get a heal, full heal from this. Right, 
So when I keep going, oh yeah, I should do another check uh, over in that region, see if I can see the tower from here. Because there's all of this. I'm gonna be looking, yeah, this way. I think that's uh, probably going to be Hebra. Right? Yeah, it's the Hebra sky. Yeah, there's yeah, there's Labyrinth. There's the uh, Juglyph I saw earlier. There's a lot of clouds, making it a little tricky. Uh, might just not be able to see it because of the cloud. So that's Rito Village. Never mind, it's too far away. God, a cloud just appears right where I'm trying to look. Rude! All right, um. Let's figure out what's going on with this. There's something going on here. These are moving and spinning? Bet like if I get to the top of that I can fall all the way down and it'll be a whole thing. I wanna try and get over to the these without being starting out too low. Ah uh, yeah, I think I have enough stamina for this. Yeah, 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 okay, I'll be able to reach that. Just one more push. Yeah. All right. Okay, now where am I? What is this? That's... Oh, that goes down into something. And I... I cannot ascend through this, can I? Um, oh, well, I can do this. It does not want me to ascend here. Curious. Because, well... Let's throw in the climbing gear and see what we can do here. Because I might not have enough stamina to get all the way up. I might. I might. Oh no, actually, yeah, I think I'm, I'm good here. Oh yeah, I'm fine. There is. Gosh. All right. Well, I didn't want to have to resort to this, but. Oh. If I pull back, I can go pretty much straight up. Come on, let me climb. Okay. Let me climb! <laughs> you have significantly fewer hearts. I'm guessing they've been going through all the shrines they've come across, though. I've been skipping over a lot of shrines. Yeah, it does look like a motorcycle and a goblin glider. 
<laughs> I did like I do like the goblin gob goblin glider design, but this design works a little better. What's going on with this? Oh, will I, oh, oh, I can make, I can take a little pit stop here. A little stamina rest. Okay. Perfect. Now what is this place? Is this for anything? It won't let me uh, ascend through here. Yeah, I've been managing all right with the. It's just sometimes I'll get into stuck in a little bit of a loop where I'll get like hit by one enemy and get one shot. But, like I think I definitely need before I take on the final area, I should do a bunch of shrines and. Uh, do the great fairy quest so I can upgrade my armor. I think it's probably going to be the way for me to go. What time is it? Uh, pushing five o'clock. I should have time. Like, I might not be able to do the, uh, that one southeast tower just yet, or tonight, but I'm not too worried about it. Now, what are you? Let's ask the glider. Actually, let's put... Maybe a uh, battery on you. Or even two. Let's. Eh, one should be enough. What is happening? It's heard like a big sound. Um, pardon me just a moment. Someone, someone's knocking. Oh my goodness, yay! Uh, my new electric piano arrived! I forgot that was happening today! Yes! Ah, oh, I got a new, uh, electric piano MIDI controller. Oh no. <laughs> that was bad timing. Okay, um... This thing is actually kind of difficult to control. What? What just hit me? Oh my goodness. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna go down here. But yeah, I'm really excited to set that up.
Were these ancient arowana? They are. Good. A fairy. There's more fairies. Okay, this is a neat little place. Please just come down. There we go. Oh, hi! Ceremony? It is diverting to path of time by admiring the twinkling stars. Welcome to the... Oh. Dive ceremony. Okay, yeah, I'm going to come back to that. Um... What's over here? Because if this dive ceremony goes straight down, then that'll put me directly in the forest. Might even want me to go right to the Lake Saria. So this one might have been misnamed. Instead of taking on the towers, I might be finally entering the Lost Woods. batteries construct head always faces whatever it deems an enemy attach a combat zoning device to its head for homing attacks oh i think maybe i want a bunch of these so yeah with between the head and the other thing that i got earlier you could absolutely make just automata Mostly batteries, but it's fine. Uh, okay. Well, let's do this dive ceremony. Register at the terminal. Ravery Island. Oh, I see. That's what that's for. Is it just warping you over there? So this well maybe it still could because this shrine might be a convenient warp point to get to the woods if this is how I end up doing it. So most of walk. Is this going to be another blessing shrine? That'd be nice. Oh, no. Oh, this is a, <laughs> a proving ground shrine. Oh, 
Cool. Got a bow and another one of these. That was the last of the enemies. Oh, okay, that was it. That's all I needed to do. Barely got through that. What's this? Bright elixir. Ooh. That'll be good for that's like a level three bright elixir. That'll be good for the depths. Okay, now I still really want to find out if I can get into the Lost Woods from here. I was like, look, it's right there. It's right there. I'm going to save, actually. A quick look here to the northwest. Just to, oh, where's that one I already got? Oh, that's the one I already got. Okay, never mind. Where the hell is this tower? What's this? Are you? Was that a geoglyph? No. No, not a geoglyph. Where the hell is the tower? Is the next tower? Is this? That's the tower I just went to. And actually you can kind of tell because the lights are turned off. So when you activate it, they turn the lights off. Which I guess makes sense. Reach the castle. I can probably reach the castle from here. What is it like in the chasm or something? That's the Zonai guy. Ah. No idea where it could be. 
Well, at any rate. Please let this work. Ah. Uh, warp me out as soon as I got as I hit the water. Oh. Send me back up here, eh? Alright, well, do I remember roughly where? Okay, well, there, here's the big clearing. This must be where the, like, Deco tree and all that are. So if I, like, put this just put in here. Oops. Like, try to line myself up there. And then drop down. Oh, see, there's a shrine. There's another shrine. <gasps> You're kidding me! Ah, oh, they knew. They knew. Ah. I mean, they, they marked it there, which is very funny. But without like a warp, I guess I do not know how to get through. Huh. All right. Well, let's try this tower. See if we can get a good angle on uh, this next region. Well, like, yeah, it's literally due north from here. There it is. Okay, and it's right by this mountain. So what I actually think I want to do is go to this tower, try to get to the top of the mountain, and then parasail down. That should make it a lot easier. Uh, I'm gonna, gonna need to put on one of the clothes. Okay. Actually, oh, this this is much easier. Duh. I should have remembered that there were warp points in the sky. Much easier. Let's see if we can get even, up even a little higher. Okay, we missed that. Whiff. Uh, ooh. Another geoglyph. Oh, no, that's the one I was looking at earlier. Yeah. Okay, so hi, Seymour. You just want to be in the way, don't you? So where is it? Okay, this is really close. Oh yeah, there it is. Is 
Seymour, I'm not sure what you're plotting, and I'm not excited about what's about to happen. He wants to make big jumps. That was a lot of buildup for crossing a tiny gap like that. Kita Stone Grove Skyview Tower. Oh, I think I vaguely remember this place from Breath of the Wild. No, oh, okay, nothing, nothing complicated there. Rintubble's favorite for aesthetics. I liked it from us for aesthetics. I think the Fire Temple was interesting, and I do like a good like spooky sand thing. Like the pyramid reminded me of the Arbiter's grounds. Which is a really distinctive temple from Twilight Princess, I think. Yeah, I'm trying to think if there has been anything that's even like, like an airship. Because there have been a few like sky and air temples. Like sitting in the city in the sky, and I think Minish Cap had a couple like that. But I think that was truly like an airship. The sand ship was pretty cool though, from Scarred Sword. Probably the best level, best temple in that game. All right, so we've gotten this temple, or this tower rather. something. Right, now I want to go here because I do love me some of these things. Ooh. Okay. Well, I'll explore the sky another time. Okay, I remember this big ice field thing. I think there was a bit where he had to, like, find a skeleton horse. Or maybe I just found happened to find a skeleton horse out here. This looks a little bit like Majora's Mask. Does it? No, nah, it's kind of hard to see at this point. No, yeah, a little bit? Or maybe it's, like, supposed to be Lanya or something? Start. Gosh. This is going to be rough without snowshoes. Wait a second. I have an idea. Uh, Tulin. Oh, it doesn't work. Okay. Yeah, that really did not help me at all. Do you know? God, this one is just massive. Are there any, like, horses or anything around here? Um, no. Wait. What if I... Okay, that's something. That didn't last very long, though. Okay. 
God, I don't want to spend like too much time exploring this area. Yeah. Oh, here's the Korok. There's this moose. You guys gonna attack that thing? Can I ride you, Mr. Moose? Please. Uh, looks like there's some horses over there, though. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I will climb up, climb up on the top of that thing, land on a horse or that moose, which is the real prize. One of those horses is yellow. Why are you yellow? I'm actually really curious about that random yellow horse and I kind of want to try and... Uh... Uh, now that's a horse of a different color. Ooh, just barely made it. So why are you yellow? I'm telling you, it's a it's a horse of a different color. It's got some braiding in it. It's its hair is already braided. This is a special horse, clearly. I should probably bring this to a stable and see what's going on with it. the shiny golden horse to be my friend. <laughs> Just run over the dog. Hello, moose. Not there. There we go. See, I'll give you pets when you do what I want you to. A bear! Hello, no Mr. Bear. I just gotta like go back and forth across this thing until I come across it. Like, unless there's like a logic to where the pool is going to be. Otherwise, I feel like I just need to like crawl all over the geoglyph until it appears. Are there other color horses? 
Hmm. Yeah, this one's just massive. At least it's easier with a horse and I don't have to yeah. climb anything. But still. Oh, there it is. I actually don't want to leave you behind. I want to bring you to a stable and figure out what your deal is. No, I found it. Oh, there it is. Okay, it's here. See, it's such a weird random spot. Because it's not like with the three special horses from the first game, like you could instantly tell what their deal was. In fact, I think Opponent you could only get from Amiibo. From, yeah, from an Amiibo. But the Zelda horse and the Ganon horse. It's so like, oh, there was like people who told you about them. Maybe just haven't met that NPC yet. All right, new cutscene. Oh. That's bad. Finally. Finally, it is mine. Ugh. No. What? Blood Moon Demise form? Oh, I got the little horns and everything. Give those gross. You squandered. As for her, she is merely the first victim of your arrogance. You tried to control me, Rauru, and you will die knowing that you failed. Get it done! Prince Sonia needs you. Oh! 
Oh, she's warping. To actually use the warp function in a cutscene? Dang. <laughs> These cutscenes are kind of a lot, aren't they? All right, yellow horse. Let's find you a stable. Okay, now that I've... All right. I don't fully know what's gonna be around here. Oh, a fairy fountain. That means there must, there probably a stable nearby. Here. Yeah, I can come up here and get some switches. Oh, okay, maybe she doesn't. <laughs> Lady Miha. Or it could be Mija, but I'm gonna say Miha. I don't want anything. Better than that, I keep one of a horn. Sound of a horn. <laughs> oh, yep, there's some smoke over there. It's gotta be a stable. Tabantha? Yeah, Tabantha. Yeah. Oh, oh. Alright, now we can get a warp point here. Orochium. Yeah. Orochium? I don't know. Somebody want to here want to see the uh I think you springs the stable association. Yay, new reward. Oh sure. Ooh. The horse? Oh. The golden horse that ran away from our stable? Oh, uh Harla? Oh. Our horse. Okay, so I don't get to keep this horse. Uh, That's fine because it's oh. kind of bad anyway. Mm. Oh, there's a bug here. Gross. Huh. Because I'm looking for Harlow around back. By back, did you mean to the side? Ah. Oh, yeah, here we go. Uh. Well, actually, our beloved missing Princess Zelda showed up at the stable here the other day. Strange, the sight of her really agitated the princess's golden horse, which we keep stabled here. 
The steed started acting acting wild like it was terrified for its life. Poor creature bolted and I haven't seen it since. Wait, your horse has a golden court just like hers. It can't be. It must be. That's the princess's golden horse which has been missing for quite some time. I've been worried sick and now here you've brought the horse back. Oh, oh partner. I barely got my beak into the situation here and you just roll in with the horse? Kind of throws me off the saddle here in the middle of an interview. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> just giving you a hard time. If those good deeds of yours just feather my reputation, you make me proud. Is it just me or has that horse gotten kind of attached to you? Oh. Strange is that when Princess Little Run appeared here, this gentle creature ran off in a frenzy as if terrified. Hmm. Could it be that it wasn't the princess? I know her face anywhere, but it was snowing hard. Maybe I have it wrong. Yeah. All right, I guess I'm keeping the golden horse. The royal bridle. Ooh. Uh, the royal saddle. Uh, nice. Oh. Ah. Yep, 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 yep. I'm good. Mm. We've got to chase two of the stories. Okay. That's right. Tracy. Lucky Clover Gazette Fabric. Ooh, nice. All right. Uh, off to the office. Sword long. Okay. Complete. Huh? Horse. You mean register it? Yeah. Oh. New horse. Yes. Oh. Ooh, huh? what should I name you? I get to name oh. you. Goldine. Let's see. I've kind of got a theme going on with my uh, with my horse names because I have Sleipnir and Shadowfax. One's a mythical horse and one's a uh, literary horse. How about can I Rosinante? I gotta double check if I spelled that right. Another famous literary horse. Rosa. Nope. Nope. Yep, I spelled that right. Okay. Except. Rosanante! Uh, for those who are in any way confused, Rosinante is Don Quixote's horse, uh, the famous Spanish folk hero. Uh, bored. Oh. Oh. Yeah, yeah. We meet again. Yeah, great fairy. Miha. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Eustace's horn. I'm trying to tell if there's a pun there in Eustace. Like euphonium? No. <laughs> Soothing toots. But a stable trotter is one day he's put off from the troop. No one's seen him oh. since. Well, there's one trouble that came from Tabantha Bridge Stable, far south of here. No. Not so far away. Well, I guess this troop kind of takes the place of uh, Cass's accordion and adding on to the music. Mm. 
Put it in front of the pot. Ooh. Ah. Hey, it's Megan and uh, Nat. Ah. Yeah, where is Cass? Is he just off somewhere else? Ooh, it's the monster shop. Ah. Mm. I'm camp at the bottom of the mountain along this road a bit. Ready back to the stable. When we go back to our tent, there are monsters inside. It's our tent, though. So, put on some warmer clothes, my guy. Wow. Uh, sure, good exchange. Now, what have you got? I'll buy your arrows. Because I do be running low on arrows. I really want to check out the, uh, the monster shop over here. Oh, God. Oh, okay, it's only in battle after nine in game. What time is it in real life? Okay. I might have time to get like one of the other towers. I kind of get sidetracked, but that's fine. Like I'm not ashamed of getting sidetracked in a Zelda game. All right. Greetings and good meetings. It was a very special moment for me. Yes, very special. Yeah, I need more bubble gems. I must have more. I'm sorry. Ever since we've parted, I've been traveling far and wide, yet I haven't gathered a single bubble gem. When will I become a Satori? What am I to do? Can't be coincidence we meet again, traveler. Fate, yes, fate brought us together again. Yes, I'll just let me buy stuff. Oh, the mystic clothing? I want it. You have clothing. Saw at night. Don't be shy. Yeah. Get, get, get. Oh. The goblin on many at once is the key to turning to a Satori. <laughs> Me too. Oh, so it's not a shop. I have to give him a certain number at a time. The Moblin Mask. Okay, so I have to get everything in order. That's fine. You're a weird little dude. Here's the treasure. Moblin Mask, awesome. Sense the presence of bubble frogs, or though not all of them, and find places they're likely to be found. Have any remaining bubble gems? So, I guess I'm curious. Now that I know that this is not a shop, and so I have to like trade them in, I'm more convinced that every bubble frog is like one of a kind, and once I get the gem, then that's it. So there's a limited number of gems in this world. The Hinox toenail? Is that it? One eyed Hinox. Most of these don't have much destructive power when attached to weapons. Use it as arrowheads. Increase. Okay, so they're good for arrows. Puzzle. A little bit of an underwhelming prize.
I'd rather have clothing. Oh? Do I get the top now? Mystic robe, hell yeah! I've saved up a bunch of these, I guess. Yes, new clothing! I love that new clothing! Pow power! You are a fiend, my guy. I feel like I need to cut you off. Rupee padding? What? Allowing them to lose rupee. Oh, your magic armor! Probably do one more trade with him after this. <laughs> All right, Lizalfo's hat. Ooh, is the next one going to be three? If it I think someone's gonna be three or four. <laughs> Blood in with those all folks. Eh, I'll pass for now. I genuinely do not need that. Since you bubble frogs. Here in Kopiki drifts. Okay. Well, interesting. And now I have some new clothes. Rupee. That's. Wild. Okay, they were saying there was another stable across from here. Um, was that the side quest? Incomplete stable. Oh, okay. Or was it under side adventures? No, Lake Hylia Crystal. So oh, this is side adventures. No. Hmm. All right, well, priorities. Let's try and get the, I guess, the Grudel Highlands. And then I have, I've marked the uh, Southeast Tower. So I might be able to do that one as well. Oh, and there's the frickin' blood moon. God damn. Okay. Can't see a thing. Alright. Okay, and there there's the tower right there. Yeah, that's very hard to miss. It's really going to be the easiest. Yeah, it's probably going to be the easiest way to get here. In fact, I think I just got a stamina potion, didn't I? Yeah. 
So I can maybe use that to help me get there. Okay, there are no... Sky Islands on the way. It really doesn't look like there are any Sky Islands above it, either. chasm. I would really love to get oh, to get this quickly. But they're just, <laughs> they just completely replaced Heba. That's that's really something. Okay, I am kind of out of stamina here, but I got close. Yeah, yeah, I know. Teba who? When the glow of the blood I, just, like, I kind of remember that sometimes when I see Tulin's like, this is just a new guy here. All the rest of these, these are the same people from the last game, but that, not this guy. Ooh, Korok. Bing. And... Bong. Is this gonna... This might not be worth it. It might just be worth it to go from this edge. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just gonna go from this edge. Okay. Oh, right, yeah, this won't be too bad. Seems like there's a little bit of wind coming in from this, ca this uh, canyon. That's fine. It's cold in here. Really chilly. Just looking at my temperature down there. Okay. Come on. Here we go. Salmon? Snowed in. We're looking to cave we sort of construction materials in was safe. Flying back to make a proper report. Um oh. let me read this again. Cave we start construction materials in was safe. Okay. Okay, so there's a cave nearby. Is it um you're not a cave? No. Right, I don't have a map for this area. How nearby are we talking in terms of this cave? Right, and I cannot warp here yet. Huh. I'm a little... Concerned about finding this one cave. <laughs> nah, no, you don't. 
And I really don't like not having snow boots here. Uh, I gotta find a cave somewhere. No idea where it's gonna be. That's kind of annoying, actually. Maybe if I went up and got a better vantage point? Oh, there it is. Okay, that's absolutely it. Maybe that's really close by. I just went in the wrong direction. Next up. Some berries. Metal is mantle cave. Read Bilson's records? Yeah. Keep a record of my time working on the Scarview Tower. And go to Highlands. Start construction. Have you source some blue, and as soon as we started, we had to stop and take shelter in a nearby cave. Cave is warm and safe. Cave is bigger than any of us could have imagined. Explored inside by following the water downstream. Deep in the cave, we heard some hammering. We don't know how a sound from outside made it that far down. Day six. There are some hi Here are some highlights from the cave investigation report. Cave continues all the way under Skyview Tower. The tower's weight may be a problem. We should build a reinforcement in the cave so it doesn't sink. Tower is done. It was a breeze with, with Pearl's clever design and the skillful prep work by Hudson Construction. All that legwork kept on-site assembly simple and efficient. Since we may end up using the site again, we've decided to leave some material in, in the cave. First thing I do when I get off this mountain is have a warm bowl of soup. Mmm, soup! Have a nice warm bowl of that soup. Let's raft our way down. Uh, no. Oh, it's just something orange and glowy over there. Ooh, Gerudo bow. Ooh, bubble frog. What? Shoot. Whoa! Nice! Okay. Take that bomb flower. All right, so I'm guessing that if I oops, take a lizard, use Ascend in the, just the right spot, I'll end up inside the tower. Oh? Oh, ho, ho, ho. And what's all this then? Ah, some more treasure, maybe? Oh, it goes behind the waterfall. Just some topaz. Nice. Okay, so I've got to plan this just so. Some sparkles. Oh, just an arrow. Weird. 
Oh, it's probably the arrow from when I was shooting the uh, bubble frog. You know what? Um, the way Ascend works, I can just cancel it if I don't get it right. So let's try and line this up just right. And then... Oh. You don't like that. Uh, oh, no, you do like that. You like that. Tulin was in Breath of the Wild? I don't remember him. I guess maybe they did mention them. He did mention having a son, didn't he? <sighs> so how am I supposed to get back in here? Or is it supposed to be really inconvenient to use this tower? Orb. All right. We're really close. Oh, I'm trying to decide if I have time to do that last one before I have to leave. It's a big area. Not a lot of Sky Islands, though. Quick glance around for any potential geoglyphs around here, maybe? Ooh, that's one. Yeah, that's definitely one. Yeah, I'll see if we can make it there. And then I'll take a quick survey of that last tower. Just to see if I think I can do it quickly. Otherwise, I'll just, uh... Head out. Oh. What did I just pass through? Gotta get these geoglyphs. I really hope I can make it to this one. Let's get close. And there is a shrine near here, but it's at the base of the mountain. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Ooh, some windmills. Where is this? Oh. This, wait, this uh, feels. No, this is not where the fairy fountain was. The fairy fountain is further north than this.
Hmm. Don't I have some ruby weapons? I do. And those do not want to uh, do anything of the sort. So I guess I'll just climb a tree and parasail over? Just a quick peek in here. I doubt it's going to be a blessing. It's really all I have time for right now. Yeah, it's not a blessing. Stacking a path. Another time. Okay, so I really want to figure out this... Uh... This geoglyph. Perfect. Oh, that's a pretty big mesa. That's what this is, right? This is a mesa plateau, maybe. The tabla. Hey, baby girl. If I can find somewhere to use a, a sand, that would be lovely. Hang on a sec. I just had the thought that I should have had ages ago of using those falling ruins to get up to the sky using a rewind or recall or whatever, it, whatever they're calling it. This just seemed like the easy way to do it. Yep. Okay. I better not have fallen onto the thing. Let's see if I just like rewind. Yeah. Go straight up. Neat. Okay. Good to stow away in the noggin for later. It's a big rock. Here's definitely a core rock. Oh, hey, girl. Well, if it isn't me. Oh, it's right here. Awesome. Quick one. Relatively. Okay, I want to like be out of here in like 10 minutes max. So maybe I won't have time for that last tower. I'll at least put myself over there so I know to do it first next time. gazebo are you well you seem a bit distracted I apologize I keep getting lost in my thoughts thinking about how I can return home with your power over time if I were able to learn that kind of control I might be one step closer to my era I see. The secret is to think of it like drawing out the object's memory. 
You asked the object where it was, how it arrived where it is now, and then you coax it back to that original moment in time. The object's memory. I'm sure it will become almost like second nature, and you will be able to find your way home. But Zelda, there is more on your mind than just that. You, of course, do want to get back to your time. But you also desperately want to help us out in this era. Am I close to the truth? How did you know? <laughs> I do not believe it is possible to keep anything secret from Sonya. <laughs> oh, your concern is very sweet, Zelda. But listen, you can focus your attention on returning home. After all, you possess more than power over time. You have a sacred power that can dispel evil. Both of these powers will help you protect your own era. <gasps> Queen Sonia! And of course, you must make it home safe to put Link's mind at ease. Link? Uh, that is not a name I have heard. He is a royal knight. He had been originally appointed for my protection. But later, he became a hero by saving both me and Hyrule from a great evil. Oh, a hero is he? He's so very dedicated. <laughs> but, oh, so he's a hero, huh? Is he cute? He is very strong. Oh, strong too. And his heart is good and true. Mm -hmm. And handsome. Is he? Is he tall? No. Okay, that that's fine. Absolute faith in him. Hearing you speak so highly of Link, I find myself wanting to meet him as well. You will. Indeed. I would also like to meet him. He must be quite the brave, courageous knight. What a picture Zelda paints of him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm glad that one didn't take too long. But now I just want to figure out how to get to uh, this one. Hi, Nazy just wants so much attention right now, you guys. We'll start by going here. I can at least put myself kind of near it for next time. Then I should be, I'll be satisfied. Because we did. Uh, Maisie, I swear. I feel like we did quite a bit today. We did a lot of the, uh, so earlier in the day we Beat the water temple. Oh, great, these guys. There's two of them. Ow! Yeah, we beat the water temple, we did a, a bunch of towers and some geoglyphs, and some a little more exploring. Yeah. So yeah, I'm going to try to get to the, up to the top of at least this mountain. I don't think I'm going to get much further than that before I... Yeah, I really need to be going very soon. Let's 
So let's get up here. Shouldn't be too difficult. It's just it's sometimes tra traversal can be a little uh, slow. It can take time. Oh yeah, there we go. Actually, I wonder. Ooh, what are these spiky things? Look like big old rib bones sticking out of the ground. Hmm. Oh yeah, it looks like there's a path leading right up to it. I kind of wish I had a horse, but... I think I'll be okay. Got that uh, horse armor that lets you warp your horse to you. It's got to be here somewhere. Northern Village. Sky View Tower. Okay, yeah, we're really close. We're gonna do this. Um, I can definitely do this in a couple within a couple minutes. Even if there's like a little quest attached to it, and then we'll have the full map completed. Uh, looks like there maybe will be enemies here. Uh, there's something going on here. Dang. Um. Oh, and it's raining, so I can't use fire. That's right. Yeah, I did. Or the sun and dun guy. Are they okay? Spiky things. That's Good kid and wait. Zuta. Huh. Oh, so how am I going to get through here? I can't rightly burn these, can I? <laughs> Unless I make them a little umbrella. Yeah. Make them a little, uh, protect them from the rain a little bit, and then I can I must be why that's there. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, that's so smart. That's a nice little puzzle. Getting in here. Make sure it's raining there, and it's like, oh, you gotta burn some things, but it's raining. What are you gonna do? And this is it. This is the last one. And after this, we're gonna call it. So thanks for joining me today. Ooh, that's a cool big structure. And there's a big thing over there. I really like what's going on in the sky in this region. And there's the map. Oh, there's something directly above... Uh... I keep wanting to call it Koholid. No, it's um, Eventide. All right, yeah, we'll do a quick little look around.
Oh yeah, there's a... Looks like a scimitar. Let's make it just make our way over to this one. And we'll have a good vantage, vantage point of the whole area. Because now we have the entire... Oh, I need the uh, Zora armor. Because now we have all four main temples and the map done. We are in a really good spot. gotta check these things out. There's just so much I gotta do in this game. I'm having a lot of fun. Alright, and with that, I think we're gonna call it for today. Thank you so much for joining me. And I will see you next time. Maybe tomorrow, maybe not. We'll see. This week's gonna be a little different. But we're just gonna have some fun with it. And if I don't see you tomorrow for Zelda, then you will see me tomorrow for uh, Psychonauts 2 in the e uh, Tuesday evening. Probably the finale. Probably, maybe. We think. We hope. At any rate, see you around. Good, good night.